sitting below the top of the line K1 with its full frame sensor and above the K3 Mark II, Pentax have announced a new flagship APS-C model, the KP. This camera sits in a similar part of the DSLR market as Nikon's D7200 and Canon's 80D and touts lots of special features like an interchangeable grip, 5-axis image stabilisation and full weather sealing. We've brought it down to Horsey Beach in Norfolk to try it out and see what it can do. The KP is built around a new generation 24.3 megapixel CMOS sensor. This is the same physical size as the one that was found in the K32, but has a slightly smaller resolution. With no anti-aliasing filter, this sensor is designed to capture the optimum level of detail possible in files, while more can still be combated through an anti-aliasing filter simulator. This sensor is paired with a Prime 4 imaging engine taken from the K1. The combination provides a native ISO range that goes from 100 to a simply massive 819,200. A mechanical shutter mechanism provides the KP with a top shooting speed of 1 6,000th of a second, while an electronic shutter mode offers a super high speed rate of 1 24,000th of a second, with noise and vibration both reduced. Alongside that filter simulator, a moving sensor also allows other benefits like that 5-axis image stabilisation system I mentioned earlier and an increased resolution shooting mode. Compensating for up to 5 stops of vibration for blur-free images, that's half a stop more than the K32, the device's SR2 system reduces camera shake caused by pitch, yaw, roll, horizontal and vertical shifts. The KP is fitted with the same Safox 11 autofocus system that was found in the K3 Mark II, albeit with a new focus algorithm. Pentax assure us that this new algorithm is going to mean faster performance and greater accuracy when focusing. This system features 27 focus points, the central 25 of which are the most accurate cross type and it operates down to minus 3 EV, promising reliable performance even when there is limited light. The KP can shoot video at the same frame rate as the K1 and K3 Mark II, that's 30 frames per second. Shooting in the H.264 recording format, it can record for up to 25 minutes. The camera has inbuilt stereo microphones for audio recording, but for greater sound quality, an input for an external microphone can also be found on the device. The KP also has a 4K interval mode, making it possible to capture and connect a series of images in a single 4K movie file. A glass pentaprism viewfinder provides the KP with an almost 100% field of view. It features a diopter for optical correction and a magnification of 0.95. To aid in composition and for the navigation of the camera's menu, this viewfinder is paired with a 3-inch 921,000 dot LCD monitor with tilt mechanism. This display has an outdoor view setting mode that instantly sets the optimum brightness level for a given lighting condition and a red lighted display function for use during nighttime photography. The build quality of their cameras has always been one of Pentax's strongest selling points and the KP won't disappoint. Manufactured from durable and lightweight magnesium alloy, it feels solid and durable in the hand. This camera has an entirely new body design and weighs in at only 703 grams, including both its battery and memory card. Available in both black and silver color schemes, the camera features a grip replacement system that allows its users to quickly change from the standard S-grip to one of two larger replacement options, known as Grip M and Grip L. This enables photographers to match the KP's ergonomics to suit their personal preferences or currently attached lens. Touting 67 seals across its body, the camera is weather resistant, dust proof and freeze proof. Whatever the elements you find yourself battling out on location, this level of sealing means that the KP should handle it all with ease. The KP has inbuilt Wi-Fi for image transfer and remote control from a smart device, a welcome gain on the K3 Mark II which only offered similar functions via the use of Pentax's flu cards. However, this camera has no inbuilt GPS unit as found in its lower level brother. 
With its brand new sensor, that massive ISO range, image stabilization and an improved autofocus system, this camera is going to appeal to a lot of photographers, particularly those who often find themselves in low light like event and wedding shooters. With that customizable grip as well, it may just be the perfect fit for many enthusiast photographers.